In this Asteroid Day exclusive, we introduce you to people who are leading the efforts to investigate asteroids in our solar system, including their potential for great destruction of all we find precious on Earth. So once a big telescope like the Catalina Sky Survey detects an asteroid, it first sends all the information to the Minor Planet Center, and the Minor Planet Center calculates an orbit of the object, so basically a trajectory around the Sun. Then it puts it on a website. It's, uh, the Minor Planet Center is a big database that collects all the information and puts everything on the website so that people in the world can go on the website, including amateurs, and knowing where the object is, can try to observe it. Um, so I've got a telescope and a CCD camera and use those to measure near-Earth asteroids, so anything that comes close to us, generally quite often moving fast, uh, measuring their positions, sending them off to the Minor Planet Centre so that orbits can be refined. You know, so I'm helping follow up discoveries that generally NASA-funded telescopes have made. At the start of the night, I'll go out with my laptop, open up the observatory, move the dome round so it's pointing in the right direction, connect the laptop up with the telescope and get the camera cooling down. Once the telescope's all set up, I'll come back indoors and run the telescope from the, the warmth of the room here. And I only need to go back out then when the, the dome needs moving around. In 1969, when I was still at home with my parents, and I was out looking at the sky. I'd only been interested in astronomy for less than a year, I think it was. And I saw a really bright fireball uh, go across the northwest sky, which actually ended up uh, hitting in Ireland. And uh, I rushed in and uh, told my parents I'd seen this great big fireball in the sky. And they, yeah, I don't think they believed me quite, but it came on the news um, about an half an hour later. So uh, that was very exciting. I haven't seen one since that actually hit. I can see that it's useful. You know, I'm following objects that as long as people are following them, uh, it's a good thing, you, you know, they'll get followed up and their orbits will uh, get better and better as more people follow them. Because of the way the discoveries are going, uh, they're getting fainter and fainter, more difficult parameters to follow. The work that I'm doing is getting harder and harder for amateurs. The most sensible thing with people's time would be to be doing light curve work, so uh, measuring how an asteroid's light brightens and fades as it's spinning round. There are many, many, many targets to go for. Some of those are much brighter than the new discoveries that NASA are making, um, so they're just more accessible for more amateurs.